Hey guys, this is just a little tag along. I'm flying a drone currently. And I decided to do an altitude test. It's currently at um, 480,000 feet. So we're going to be seeing how high we can go. This is a homemade drone. And I'm attempting to beat my previous record. And I already have done so. I'm quite over the original limit. So yeah. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Kind of just interferes with the screen. Yeah. I'll keep on going. My stupid controller. The lights are burning out again. Right on here. It keeps on flickering. Like you just did that just a second ago. Flickering and yeah, eventually it'll just shut off. I've already had that happen to me before. The drone is currently at a 90,000 feet altitude. Let's see if we can go higher. I don't know if I should be panicking or not. The drone completely just lost control and it says that it is. Oh crap, it's going no, no. This cannot actually. Okay, my worst nightmares are true. It's falling. This is a hundred thousand dollars worth of drone equipment, all strapped to one drone. That's falling. It's freaking falling. No, I'm. Yeah, you know, I'm actually starting to panic. I mean, this is a good five-pound drone. That I would estimate I would probably be around one three pounds, I think. But the motors are like twenty-five volts, so it should be just fine, I'm guessing. Look, nothing. I try moving these throttles, nothing's happening. Like I even leave it alone. Look, it's completely falling. It's falling. And this. Like I said again, this is $100,000 worth of equipment. This is a huge money loss. Well, let's see the results. Okay, so it's been about an hour. And the drone, I mean, yeah, the drone, um, so it just stopped working about probably around one, like, a hundred miles away, I would estimate because of how good the antenna is, and it only has an altitude meter. But I can return to home and all that stuff. So it's still falling, I'm trying to go ahead and gain control, and nothing seems to work, be, work, and be working. It's probably going to go ahead and touch down soon. And, yeah. I finally got to go ahead and show how far away it was. It's 30 miles, and it's still pretty high up, so I'm thinking that in a rare case, it actually might land right where I am currently. I'm just pacing because there's nothing else to do. It just started getting me airs like motor obstructed, motor is not connected, please con reconnect the motor and die, uh, like go and and put the drone somewhere safely, stuff like that. Like, it says that there's something wrong with the motor. Something terribly unexpected just happened. The whole thing just disconnected, and I'm now freaking out. I see a ton of smoke coming from up there. I think that's where the drone is. I mean, it's coming towards me, that's for sure. Something just came flying down. What came down was my drone's charging port, and this is also where I keep all the memory. It has an internal storage of a hundred... 28 gigabytes. This used to be a warning sign. Now it's completely burnt. Found my display driver and two of the motor connectors. I don't know why the motor's just connect disconnected. Oh, here's an LCD that goes and tells me all the display. It's shattered and burnt. There's tiny clumps of something falling out of the sky. I concluded 